Hey guys, I'm Josh McCullum. I'm an osteopath and personal trainer, and today I'd just like to welcome you to my channel, Safe Hands Health Fitness and Rehabilitation, the Stability, Alignment and Flexibility Equation. I hope you find the videos useful and informative. If you do, please do feel free to share them with friends, family who may be suffering with further problems as well. Um, if there are any specific requests that you have, if you would like any information, please do just let me know via private message or via comments. The next exercise that I'm going to be talking you through is called the scapula kiss. The reason that we're doing the scapula kiss is most of us spend all day in a hunched position, whether you are desk based, whether you are working with kids, whether you are sat all, all day driving. For me, in my profession, I spend a lot of time in this position treating and massaging. You can find that just about any occupation leads you to go into this internally rotated, this hunched position through your shoulders. So the scapula kiss is designed to try and get your shoulder blades a bit closer together, so you're opening up the chest. This will then reduce the pressure through the diaphragm, open up the rib cage, open up the thorax, get the neck into better alignment, get your mid spine into better alignment, help protect the back a little bit as well. Your entire body is a unit, so by doing one simple exercise, it can really help with the function of the rest of your spine and with the rest of your shoulder girdle. So to do the scapular kiss, all you're gonna do is if I turn around, you'll be able to see the motion Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling my shoulder blades back together. By pulling them back together, that's just going to start to contract the rhomboids and the lower trapezius muscles, which is then going to be the ones that help to stabilise my shoulder into this extended position and just help to externally rotate my shoulders. So, what you're going to be doing is from there, pretend there's a pencil in between your shoulder blades, nice and gently pull backwards, and as you can see the muscle activation going through here, hold that position for three seconds, after three seconds, return back to neutral, and then you're just gonna repeat that 12 times, and then repeat back to normal there. You can then do this two, three, four times a day, as all the other exercises start at a lower uh, repetition of exercise. However, as it becomes easier, as you know that it's not gonna cause you any problems with any new symptoms that you are experiencing, you can then start to increase the repetitions that you do in this. This exercise is great because you can do it sat down at your desk, you can do it if you're stood, you can do it whilst you're driving. I personally tend to use it a lot whilst I'm actually in the car, whilst I'm sat at traffic lights. The good thing about this is obviously no one else can see what you're doing. And at the same time you are helping to reduce the stiffness through your mid-spine whilst you're in that position. But the other thing is, is you can incorporate it into a lifestyle so you don't have to worry about thinking, okay, I need to sit down for 15 minutes, I need to sit down for 20 minutes and do the exercises. That's when people tend not to do the exercises. So with these, just trying to incorporate them into your lifestyle as much as you can. One thing that I do with a lot of my patients is if they do have kids, I try and get the exercise involved with the kids as well. Uh, this just means you are more likely to do them, you are more likely to adhere to your exercises, and then that's just gonna help with the symptomatic relief.